Hello everyone and welcome to another unit review and today we are going to be looking at Orin. I am going to be trying not to cough very much. I make no promises, mainly because I'm probably going to be coughing, so I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. Anyway, today we are looking at Orin, who is one of the two units on the Final Fantasy X banner and definitely my more favorite of the two of the units on the Final Fantasy X banner because unlike Jet, this guy definitely feels like he has a place, he is a little bit exciting, and more than that, he... Hmm, how to say it? I mean, in general, he just feels a little bit more exciting. There we go, now that fits better the wind. Oh, that's driving me a little bit crazy. But Jet has the fit problem of going up against a lot of tough competition, and here, this guy's just a good solid unit that anybody can get and so of course I'm going to be talking about who his competition is but first let's take a look at his trust mastery first of all his trust mastery is a confused disease petrify immunity with 60% attack with katana solid thing for any katana user either now or in the future possibly the near future if you know <clears throat> maybe maybe Axtar is coming maybe he isn't We'll see. Alum lies. But just a solid materia for sure. And his super trust mastery is a 184 attack, 30% MP katana. And I gotta say, this katana is... It's a little disappointing. I mean, it's a nice high attack katana with extra MP, but I was really hoping for it to be true dual hand. There isn't a good true dual hand katana in the game, and no Sephiroth does not count. That is dual hand, not true dual hand. There is a difference. Either way, I definitely was hoping that this would be true dual hand, and it turned out not to be, so that's a little bit disappointing. But I will say this. What is not disappointing is this guy's limit burst. 900% AoE, 22 hit attack at 12 frames, so it might even be a little bit chainable with a couple of other different units, so that's really cool. Ignores 50% defense too, so it's a pretty hard hitting attack. AoE 3 turn, debuff, uh, maxed out I should say, 79% to fire and wind resistant, and 900% if it's maxed out for its level. But regardless, so long as you have this guy's TMR equipped, it always does an AoE 3 turn, 74% debuff to attack, defense, magic, and spirit. AoE, oh my god, super nice, that limit burst is absolutely beautiful. See, there it is max, there it is not. Isn't that just a nice, cool little feature with transparency? If only the transparency, you know, went to other things too, but there you go. You can also get this guy's attack up there pretty high, although I will admit this is probably, you know, one of the best builds you will probably see for this guy. Uh, his base attack of 202 plus an extra 50 points does not put him anywhere near as high attack as some other units could be. But since this guy can debuff, we're, we're going to give him a pass on it. It's, it's fine. It's fine, you guys. All of this is fine. But yeah, moving on into his kit. He has debuffs of 60% for all of the big stats. Single target, three turn. And they can all be dual casted, which is really nice. He has a chance to counter physical damage, which is, you know, nice as well. He can AoE debuff for either attack or magic or defense or spirit. 45% AoE for three turns, which is all really nice in his kit. From there, he has chaining ability, er, sorry, forgot to mention, he does have a single target two turn full break at 50%, which lots of options for debrief for debuffing, which is pretty cool. He also has some chaining abilities of fire and wind uh, that debuff 50% for that, you know, type of element. For three turns, 450% at eight frame, or er, eight hits, six frames. So that's the CG Reagan family of chaining. And there he has, you know, some katana mastery in his kit. He has some extra defense, some attack, some MP, 100% true dual hand, all of 100% limit burst fill rate, all of this in a six star kit, which is super nice. And he can use, you know, he has multiple types of dual casting his abilities. 
meaning that you can make this guy true dual hand and have no worries. In his 7 star kit, it gets better though, and really you want this guy as a 7 star, 100%. 50% equipped attack boost from true dual handing, and 3 turn plus 150% attack or defense when his HP drops below 30%. Would be nice if this guy had an ability that would, you know, allow him to survive a fatal hit, but uh, you can't have everything. Not yet, anyway. Um, gives him triple cast at the start of battle for his attack abilities, and gives his limit burst that AoE uh, debuff, all for equipping his, you know, DMR, which you're going to because this guy does really good with katanas. And his, you know, Mastery is a super nice katana mastery. Anyway, moving on, his best ability by far is his cooldown ability, which is a six turn cooldown available turn one. AoE three turn minus 70% to all stats for the enemies, plus 140% for all of your stats on your team for three turns. Nice, cooldown's a little bit long, but generally just a strong ability. 30% to defense and HP, 5% MP recovery, and that's to another 5% MP recovery already in his kit, so 10% per turn is, you know, pretty nice. He has auto regen too, so this guy's kit is fairly comprehensive. Uh, available turn 4, 3 turn cooldown, 1000% one hit attack that grants, you know, triple cast for one turn. It's okay, it's not the best thing for 90 MP, but it's fine. 20% spirit, 40% attack, 150% modifier for some abilities, 75% modifier for some other abilities. So, in general, Orin is just really, really, really strong. Um, I, in general, absolutely, by the way, thank you, Lady Elise, for you know being on my friend list and putting up some amazing friend units. So, unfortunately, I uh, won't be able to use her for this demonstration. You gotta use a uh, these two. It's fine. I have a King's Ransom available. We'll take this one. Because we do want to show off Orin. Weird sounds coming from outside, interrupting my video. Poetry I am not good at. Anyway, this guy has just a really nice kit both as an attacker and a debuffer. Now, earlier, I basically just kept saying, well, you know, compared to CG Lid, compared to CG Lid, compared to CG Lid, compared to CG Lid. And some people found that a little bit annoying because they're like, well, what about versus another type of unit? And okay, fair enough. Absolutely, yes, 100%. This guy is essentially a different version of Lorraine. With the key difference here, when we're talking about the fact that this guy is a different version of Lorraine, first of all, I didn't like comparing him to Lorraine at the start because Lorraine ha is a premium unit that you get for spending money on the game. So I don't think it's a fair comparison, seeing how most people anyway on the jet... Wow, that's a lot of dual horns. Cool. Cool. Anyway, uh, I don't think it's a, it was a fair comparison for the Japanese side, mainly because most people who, you know, people who aren't going to spend money, spend a fair amount of money, will never actually get to see Lorraine or have Lorraine, so I don't think it's a good option where CG Lid is a buffer that, or debuffer that anybody can get and is kind of a bit more fair. But I will admit, yes. Lorraine does have some, uh, is kind of similar and also kind of different. First of all, big difference in Lorraine's kit is that Lorraine is also a dual wield unit, and particularly a just a dual wield unit that happens to have a limit burst that hits, you know, 15 hits, 750%, 50% defense. That is, cons you know, weaker than Orin, but. Lorraine also came out a long time ago. Lorraine also debuffs for the 79% for her elements, Thunder and Wind, where Orin does Fire and Wind, 
Either way, you know, maybe Lorraine and Oren, maybe they're the couple that should have always been. Anyway, Lorraine also has a lot of masteries in her kit and can probably hit the 400% pretty nice, but she won't be able to come up, up to how much damage Oren could potentially put out just because of the true dual hand bonus. And if we ever get a true dual hand katana, here's hoping. Not too hard, though, because it doesn't happen. But Lorraine can also do a 74% debuff if you equip her Trust Mastery um, from her Limit Burst for three turns. But I believe that is... Oh, it might be AoE. It doesn't specifically say in here, but I believe it is AoE. Anyway, Orin is strong. Orin has a really nice buff and debuff kit. So does Lorraine. But Orin is essentially available for everyone to use. Um, as opposed to Lorraine, who is really only available on the Japanese side for people who spend money. Now, as for you global people out there who may be watching this wondering what you should, you know, go for or not go for. Honestly, I can't really give any opinion because we don't know what Gummy will do with Lorraine on the global side, seeing how she is a not a premium unit, and it's not necessarily fair to say that a debuff would, er, it's not really nerfing her because she's coming out on that side and she's a different unit, so it's hard to, for me to recommend, but in general, I really like Orin. Oren has some cool animations, he is a cool unit, he's one of my more favorite units in Final Fantasy X. Um, he has a really good solid kit that makes him a attacker, debuffer, somewhat of a buffer, but I wouldn't recommend him as using him as a buffer because on a six turn cooldown, his buff just doesn't last long enough. Maybe paired with someone else like Ignis, he would actually be okay. But yeah, in general, I have to say that Orin is a very solid, great unit. You can get your hands on him. If you already have Lid maxed out, then you probably don't need him. Um, if you already have Lorraine maxed out, then you probably don't need him. But then again, you're also might be a whale who just goes for him. Anyway, that's the unit review. I think he's great. Uh, pretty awesome. And yeah, see you in the next video.